What's good, my beautiful kings and queens? This time, when you went to your favorite British look YouTuber, I hope you're all doing amazingly well, just like I am. To my old subscribers, welcome back to my channel. To my new ones, if this is the first time that you're watching a video of mine, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified every single time that I up loads you know them ones um if you don't know what i do literally this is a locks and a lifestyle channel just gonna put a disclaimer out there earlier on this year well i say earlier on this year but it was literally maybe a couple months ago i decided to start up a second youtube channel and i had wanted that channel to be a chit chat channel um, because I felt like YouTube was kind of pigeonholing me when I would put out videos on various topics other than looks on this channel However, when I gave it a try, I'm not gonna lie to you You lot out there that have like two or three channels, kudos to you I can't do it, I just felt like it was just far too much work um, Yeah, and also I just found it, it was taking the joy that I have or the passion that I have for making videos to be honest I felt like it was extra work rather than me actually enjoying it so I got rid of that second channel period so for those of you that have been kind of asking like what happened to your second Instagram account what happened to that channel that's literally it I deleted the channel or deleted the second Instagram account and literally this is the only channel I have so if you haven't noticed already going forward this channel is going to remain a looks and lifestyle channel so I'll still continue putting out look videos but I'll also talk about other things that I find of importance or relevance to myself and I do sincerely believe that whoever's meant to stumble across my videos if that will do so it, it is what it is I think at the time I was kind of more so fixated on the views you know as a content creator you put out um, or you discuss certain topics and then you kind of see the views and then you start to feel a bit Oh, not many people are watching it. Maybe not people are, not many people are commenting in. Maybe people are not really relating to it. But I've just got to the mental state where I'm just like, yo, if I put out a video that's of importance or relevance to what I'm going through and if only one person views it and it somehow helps that person or that person learns something or it makes somebody feel better, then that's that's fine with me i feel like we're kind of living in an era where everything is you know how many followers do you have how many subscribers do you have how many views do you have um and then sometimes when we focus on that we kind of lose track of our of what's important basically we end up losing track of what's important because we're so fixated on numbers so um yeah there we are but speaking of numbers i have noticed that we are on 2k plus subscribers so i do want to thank each and every single one of you that have subscribed to my channel and continuously show me love um, I have kind of been asking I think via previous videos I'm thinking to do a Q&A soon So if you guys have any questions and stuff that you want to ask me just pop it down below If you have any video suggestions as well because you know sometimes your girl does kind of I kind of what's the word feel like I'm running out of maybe topics and stuff that may interest you So if you do have any video topics, please feel free to just let me know shout me hit me up on the insta hit me up on the Twitter right now today's video um, I thought I'll cover this topic because It was a bit of a weird experience for me. I think about basically maybe about two months ago a month or two ago um, I've already spoken about like depression and low mood and stuff like that but I was experiencing low moods, I could say as usual, but this time it was more of a twist. It was kind of more so a thing that had me thinking like I want to cut off my locks, yeah? For me, that was absolutely wild. I remember telling my brother, and my brother was like, huh, you, you wanna what? Um, Cause for those of you that aren't aware, I've had my locks for over seven years now, next summer is going to be eight years and i have never ever had a thought cross my mind in regards to me wanting to cut it off and you know just rock short hair however it was like for literally about four days straight it, it, the idea was just in my mind just going on and on and on like yo just cut it off um rock short hair um have a new start have a new chapter and I'm one of those people, generally speaking, when an idea comes to my head, 
I will do it like I'm just one of those people I'm always you can say I'm a little bit impatient or sometimes I do tend to act on on impulse depending on that situation however I just remember I was just looking in the mirror and just you know thinking to myself why do I feel this way in regards to my locks because I love my hair so much so for me to feel at that moment in time for like three four days straight that I want to cut my hair and then I was like noticing and this is the thing about um the the law of attraction let's say when you start thinking about something you then start seeing like signals or like signposts that kind of encourage you or alert you to your thoughts so obviously where I had that thought in my head like I want to cut off all my hair and just rock short hair I started to notice that whether it was via Instagram or Twitter or when I was out and about I was seeing a, seeing a lot of black women with like short low cut and some of them had like dyed it blonde or just left it like black dark black and i was just looking at you thinking mm, they be looking kind of spicy you know i can rock that um but yeah obviously as i am in front of you today you can see that i've got my look knot so i obviously didn't go ahead with it and i'm actually very glad i didn't go with it as well so literally in this video i just wanted to say that for those of you that may sometimes suffer with low moods or maybe suffer from depression from time to time basically how you feel may affect your thoughts in regards to your hair at that specific moment in time however do not react like don't go and just chop off your hair as soon as those thoughts come to mind because sometimes you may find that it's just your state at that time that is allowing you to have these thoughts and on a normal day when you're feeling happy or you know you're feeling cool with yourself and everything's crisp you wouldn't have those thoughts so yeah it's kind of it's a bit of a weird one because i can't sit here and say oh these are the exact kind of emotions or the feelings and stuff that you will have but it is something that i did notice with myself it was like a recurring theme in my head like oh cut off your hair like new chapter and um i think i can't remember if i if it was maybe after my birthday or so but yeah i was just thinking to myself like new age new chapter you know just get rid of the locks and start afresh but what made me realize that there was something wrong in regards to my thinking was that i've never previously had that thought before um i've never you know seen my locks as a type of burden or anything like that however in that specific moment in time i was feeling a complete opposite to how i usually feel about my hair and obviously the thing about you know low moods or depression and stuff some of the symptoms that you will find is things that you care daily for or things that you really enjoy doing you kind of lose love for that just in that specific moment in time but once you are out of that mood and you're in a much better space mentally you, your, your thoughts kind of go back to normal like now i'm just like gosh if i had a cut off my hair i would have been completely furious with myself because these are literally my babies and it also made me think you know I started thinking far like the majority of my videos on hair is about locks I'm very pro locks like I talk about locks being um you know a way to start your spiritual journey a way for you to really connect with yourself and know who you are so it was like it's crazy because you literally have like an internal battle of yourself you know one one voice in your head is like cut it another one is like no like this is x y and z and it was just really weird it was just really weird so what i can say to you is if you are going through low moods and that thought does come into your head think try your best to somehow find it within yourself to just have a thing talk to somebody that you trust and can confide in like i decided to talk to my younger brother because we and him are really close and when i told him he instantly knew he was like yo we need that's not you is is everything okay type of thing and you know what sometimes you may be going through things and you may think that you are the only person going through x y and z however that's not the case i remember recently one young lady i can't remember her at but we i think it was under one of my depression videos and she was just asking me if i've ever felt like cutting my locks and i was just like you know what actually recently i did 
and that kind of goes back to your 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 mood and stuff at the time this video isn't for me to say oh these are the signs for you to look for anything like that it's simply just me kind of sharing my experiences because i feel like many of us kind of talk about mental health and say that we're feeling low we're feeling depressed and stuff like that but sometimes we don't talk about how let's just say depression for example can affect how you see yourself how it can take the joy out of things that you love how it makes you thinking about doing things that you previously thought you wouldn't do like for example how i've spoken about me not wanting to cut my locks anytime soon i mean in the near future who knows what the future holds maybe one day when i'm much older i may think you know what i no longer want my locks and that's fair enough but however now 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 it's not something that i would even dream of so i knew that in that specific moment in time deep down inside i knew that yeah something was wrong so all i can say i guess before this video ends up being much longer than it ought to be is when you do realize that your train of thought is something unusual to your usual kind of thoughts don't act on impulse especially if you're watching this and i don't know you don't even necessarily need to have locks it could be i don't know maybe you have a passion for photography and then you notice that actually your passion is no longer there but it's like randomly you're just like no i don't want to do it no more these are all kind of kind of little sign posts or little signs basically to show that something is wrong there is a video that i'm contemplating about doing maybe at a later date which basically if i do do it it's gonna time with the fact that i'm a year older now and there was basically quite a few things i wanted to do um in terms of like self-healing and just moving on because you know as humans we do have things in the past that has affected us and shapes us in one way or the other but sometimes we kind of don't find out ways to basically let go of the past and let go of the hurt in order to heal and move on and kind of allow positivity and growth to enter our lives so maybe i will do a video on that hopefully you guys kind of understand what the point i'm trying to come across if you can relate let's talk below discuss let me know your thoughts let me know your experiences and how you basically managed to overcome certain thoughts um and whatnot and also like i said if you have any video suggestions please just leave them below i'm thinking to do a q a soon so i would say follow me on insta if you're not already on insta it's winnie buoyancy um yeah and i'm probably gonna put up some questions or stuff you know that poll thing that people do on instagram i'm gonna do that basically and then you can send for your questions i'll screenshot them and i'll just film a separate video all together at a later date but until my next video you be good see ya